Hey, what's up guys? Today I'll be doing a review on the Century Wave Master Punching Bag. So stay tuned. Hey guys, Carlo here, and today I'm doing a review on the classic Century Wave Master Punching Bag. This retails for $199 from Century's website. I got mine in the red colorway. You can also get this in black, white, or blue. Dimensions wise, the bag itself is 24 inches in height, just for the bag, 13 inches in diameter. The outside material is vinyl. The inside has a pretty firm closed cell foam on the inside. As a matter of fact, you can actually remove the bag portion from the plastic base. Yeah, just to show you the inside, that closed cell phone kind of reminds me of the, the foam you find in the mattress, kind of a cheaper mattress. And then the foam is actually riveted to the inside plastic barrel right here. And then you can see the actual uh, vinyl material for the punch surface. It says Century Wave Master, original, the original freestanding bag. I mean, Century has been around for a very long time, for years. Um, this particular bag, the Wave Master, it's not a really a popular bag or a bag you typically see in conventional boxing gyms. I mean, you may run into one here and there, but you typically see these bags more in like martial arts schools, like in karate schools, taekwondo, uh, but typically not in boxing gyms. And that's not to say that you can't use this for boxing, um, but this is more for those people that are doing martial arts like that. Um, I've gotten a lot of requests to do a review uh, on freestanding punching bags, particularly the Sentry, just because of how popular it is in name recognition. They've been around for such a long time, um, ever since the beginning of the pandemic. So a lot more people are training at home, they're working out in their garage. Uh, a lot of people can't hang a heavy bag in their garage or they don't have a garage and have no way to hang a heavy bag. So the only option they have is for a freestanding bag. So I've been using this for a couple of months now as part of my rotation to kind of get a feel for this bag, uh, see what it's good at, see what its limitations are. Uh, and that's what I'm gonna kind of give you guys my take on today. So to me for boxing, I feel like the actual bag itself is kind of, is, is a little undersized, meaning that it's a smaller target, um, especially for how big the plastic base is. Now the plastic base can be filled with either water or sand up to 250 pounds. Now, if you were to fill this up with sand to 250 pounds, which I had before, it is, nearly impossible for one person to move it by themselves, especially if you're trying to slide it across your floor. Uh, and if it's on, a, a, on carpet, then that's even harder because you have that pile in the carpet that makes it even harder for you to slide it. So if you're using this and you fill it up with sand, the pros to that is when it's at 250 pounds of sand, I mean, when you hit it, it has a really nice solid feel. It doesn't move at all. It's completely planted to the floor. It doesn't jiggle, it doesn't scoot around. The drawback is that wherever you put that bag, it's pretty much gonna have to stay there because of how heavy it is. And good luck trying to lift it up. You're gonna need two or three people to lift it up. It's a lot harder than it looks because of the shape of the bag and the, the plastic base is real slippery. So it's, it's really hard to pick it up uh, from the bottom if it's filled with sand. The other thing is if it is filled with sand, it takes a long time for you to empty it out. So if you wanna empty it out, you have to empty the sand out and you have to tip it over and it just takes a while. If you were to use water like I have in here right now, um, it's not as heavy. It's at about 150 pounds. It's a lot easier to fill up because water is obviously much more accessible than sand is, um, and it's easier to drain. The biggest drawback with using water for this bag is that it scoots around too much, especially if you're using power shots. It vibrates too much, and you can see that it scoots around. And I have this actually, I have this filled topped off. If I fill it up anymore, it's just gonna sp spill right out of the fill cap on this bag. So you, you have to kind of f figure out what you're going to do with this bag. If you're going to have it in your in your home, um, in your gym or wherever it may be, and you know it's going to be stationary in one spot in your gym, then sand is definitely the way to go. You're going to get the best performance out of the bag in terms of like no vibration. You can hit it with power and it won't scoot around. Um, but if you're going to be in a position where you live by yourself and you, you need to scoot the bag around a lot um, or you need to move it out of the way, uh, water is probably the best way to go. The drawback again is that it vibrates a little bit too much. The other issue I have with this bag 
is depending on where you punch it, the way that this bag locks into place and adjusts height is it is this plastic base actually has like this little carved out, um, I, don't, I don't know if you want to call the terminology, like a tree. So basically the way it goes down is you, you push it down you, and you rotate it and then it locks into place depending on what height you want it to be at. So you can be lower, you can go middle, or you can go all the way to the top and it locks into place. The issue I found with that is just sometimes I would hit the bag and it would unlock itself and kind of drop, uh, drop out of place. So you have to kind of jiggle it around and make sure that it's properly locked into place. And even then, I found that it would kind of break loose sometimes and it, it would fall, uh, the bag portion would fall down and I would have to come back and readjust it. So, so with the Field of Wilder, you can see that even with straight punches, I'm not even punching hard. It scoots around quite a bit. Uh, the floor I have in my garage is just a standard uh, polished concrete floor. So maybe if you're on carpet, it'll give you more resistance and won't move around. But I have it completely filled all the way to the top with water in the base. Any more in the water is just gonna run out of the top of the, uh, the fill port. Um, so that's my biggest complaint about this bag is for as heavy as the base is with sand, you don't get that much of a target in terms of the bag itself. Um, and then if you fill it up with just water, it, it scoots around too much. Um, I do like the way it feels when you do punch it. It's really soft. So you can use this barehanded if you wanted to. In fact, that's why I think a lot of martial arts schools use these because they're not wearing, you know, boxing gloves or, or, or whatnot. They're using it open hand and uh, open feet, if you want to say. Um, so that's the big benefit is you can essentially use it without any gloves. Obviously, you can use gloves if you want to. But it is really nice and soft to touch with the vinyl overall. Um, it's surprisingly pretty durable. It's held up well. Um, it sat in my garage throughout the summer. I got a mosquito here. Um, and it's held up really well. Um, again, I just think for the price you're paying at $200, um, I would probably still go with that Amazon freestanding bag just because it's a larger target um, and it's generally cheaper. And if you're using it on a slick floor, you don't have to fill it up with so much water and it comes with suction cups. Uh, I think a game changer for the Sentry and maybe they've done it already because I know Sentry has a lot of other models that they offer outside of the original Wavemaster, but it would be very beneficial in my opinion if they introduce suction cups to the base of their punching bag so that it reduces the amount of, of vibration and that the bag itself doesn't scoot around uh, when you punch it. But again, I mean, Century has sold a ton of these. Uh, I think for a martial arts school, they're good. They're solid for conventional boxing. I would try my best to probably still go with a traditional freestanding, um, or should I say freestanding, uh, traditional hanging heavy bag. I know that's not an option for a lot of people, uh, but as much as possible, that's what I would go with uh, over this if you're just looking to do uh, boxing and, and not martial arts. Uh, but overall, a solid bag for what it is. So if you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box. I'll put the link in the description box or you can find the Century Wavemaster. I'll see you guys later. Take care.